When one of the cardinals is elected pope, he will quickly have to change from red robes into white ones. Alan Pizzi found out what a challenge it is to create the next pope's wardrobe. The first glimpse of a new fashion line. But this takes haute couture to an entirely new level. Three robes made for the first appearance of the new pope. The firm of Gamarelli have been opening the show for 200 years. It's a challenge because no one knows who the robes are supposed to fit until it's time to put them on. And there's no time for pinning up or letting down between the Pope being chosen and his first appearance on the balcony of St. Peter's Basilica. Lorenzo Gamarelli hopes the world audience doesn't think it's the best his tailors can do. But what's so special about the one you make for the day when he comes out onto the balcony for the first time? Because it's not made especially for him. It's, uh, we, we try to make uh, one that could fit any, more or less any pope. We are, we are making three, you know, because uh, we, we don't know who the pope will be. So we're making, roughly speaking, one small, one medium and one large. The one for Benedict was a bit too short. And someone accidentally switched the tags on the robes for Pope John XXIII. So he ended up with the wrong size and it was open at the back not the way to win an A-list customer. Once you've made the robes, are you then automatically his tailor for the length of his papacy or do they change around? Uh, the Pope does what he wants, so... He is the Pope. <laughs> he, he chooses, <laughs> he decides. Have they, have they mainly chosen you? Mainly, yes. For those who don't need a bespoke tailor, there are dozens of stores that cater for priests and nuns. <laughs> Barbie Coney has been in the clerical garments business since the 1800s. One reason for longevity is that men of the cloth aren't into trends, according to owner Francesco Barbiconi. The normal fashion every one year change, or two times per year. Here there's a fashion that dur that, dur that uh, in 10 years uh, we can have something that change after other 10 years. Change the, the, the design and the fabric every 10 years, more or less. That's all silver. The variety is in the work involved. These bishop's mitres, for example, range in price from just over $100 to more than 1000 Communion chalices are favorite items to mark special occasions. A simple brass one is about $200. Go for a silver one with fine engraving, and you'll be spilling up to five times that. Seminarian brother Omar Landa came in for shirts, but he's asked his parents to give him a chalice when he's ordained. For me, it's a special gift because with the chalice, I'm going to celebrate my first Mass and also I'm going to bring the blood of Christ to the earth. So that's why for me, means as, has a special means for me. The robes will stay in the window until the date of the conclave is announced. Then they have to be taken to the Sistine Chapel to be ready to dress whoever emerges as Pope. The Gamarelli tailors can only hope they fit, more or less. For CBS This Morning, Alan Pizzi, Rome. Changing popes has a lot of implications, doesn't it? It does, including <laughs> wardrobe.